Hello my Panna Pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Common Design. Today I want to share with you a few ways in which you can use the dashboard layout. Now I switched my catch-all to a dashboard layout, I think it was sometime in 2022 and I have not looked back. I absolutely love the dashboard for my catch-all and that surprised me, I will say, but I think it's very versatile and I think that once people make the switch, what I've noticed is that they're like, yes, this actually really, really works, especially if you are of the neurodivergent family, um, then <laughs> it just it helps is what I will say. I mean, it's not a it's not a cure all, but it helps. And this is how I use it and some tips I'm going to give you on using it. So the first thing is you'll see that this is the old style dashboard layout where you have the little weekly, I can call it like a weekly at a glance or a tracker area here. You've got individual days of the week here on the right hand side and on the left hand side you've got checklists and to-do lists. Now for this, in the newer ones, this portion is all in one. I don't have any of those, so we're going to make do with this. But I think that is the first thing that I will say is when I was using this for my initially my business planner, what I was doing was making this a full long list. So when I was using it, I would literally get like a notepad thing and I would put a big long list in here because that's what I liked. I like one big list. So I am happy that they've done one big list here rather than section it into four. It's now into a big one and then two smaller ones. So, but this is the thing. If you've got an older planner like this one, all you have to do is get one of these little notepads. I mean, you're going to be take more care than I'm doing right now, but put that on there. And this is literally what I would do. I would just cut it and then just stick it into my planner with some rolling adhesive and I would just stick it into my planner. And the thing is as well, I mean, this actually matches the color of this, which is nice, but I don't usually like color on my planners, on my guts on my planners. But that's the first thing. If you have an older planner or if you have the color block and you don't like the color block, just put something over it I like this and then just put in some matching stickers, you're done, boom, good. So that's the first thing. I was using it like that initially. I would, I, I like one big list. That makes sense for my brain, one big list. So they have that big list here now. The whole checklist is down here and they do not have this anymore. So that's how my brain works. One big list, and it could be that it's your grocery list, it could be that it's your major cleaning list of the week, it could be anything. One major list, and then two smaller ones, two smaller sections. I think this one is more dark red, and I, yeah, I don't know what the new ones are like, but yeah, there's two sections here. And then you've got this, this bit at the bottom. So this is into five or four sections, depending on whether you're old or new. And then you've got this. So this is how my brain uses this. The first thing that I come when I come to this planner is I think about the days of the week. And I use this for things that need to be done on that day. So it could be, I'm just going to take these examples. I have a massage this day. So I would put in usually a box here. I have an appointment. I actually have something on Thursday. Let's say I have another appointment here. And then let's say I have one here. I have three appointments that week. And that is how my brain would work. Those things need to get done on that day. And what I tend to do is I put a big bullet or something for the major thing that needs to get done that day. The priority of that day either goes into a bullet or a skinny box or something like that. But that is the priority. Now you could have 
you could have one, you could have three. But that is how my brain, like that is the thing that absolutely positively has to be done that day. Otherwise, the world will come to a screeching halt. Now, the other thing that I do for me, and you could do it however you want to do, but I do my like regular home cleaning on a Tuesday because um, I follow the fly lady system. She does it on a Monday. Monday doesn't make sense for me. I do it Tuesday because my trash day is Wednesday. Makes sense. I put a box in here usually of chores and I will have little checklists of things. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll put it in here. Depends how I feel. But that is how I use this. Things that have to get done on that day or the world comes to an end. Things that I can't move. Things that have to be done. So like Tuesday, I know that trash comes Wednesday. So I know trash has to be done on Tuesday, right? So if I have an appointment and it's vets, um, that's a meeting and that's massage. There we go. So that's how my brain works. Now this bit is the bit that kind of stumps a few people. You can use this a lot of ways. And the one thing that I like to do is I cover up this if it's got color on it. I'll just put one of the washi strips in there or I'll put a piece of coordinating washi to go with the spread. But I don't like the color block so I just generally put a little, a little color in there just to make it a little fun. And sometimes I even put like something here, some, some, like some kind of circle or something, something to make it a bit fun. So here you can use this for your meal tracking. You can do your menu planning here and let's kind of brainstorm some ideas. You can do menu plan. You can do workouts. I use it for work. So it could be, I usually put my videos here just so that I know what's going live and what I, what social media I need to check. But that kind of thing goes here. And if you're not using this and you're like, I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I don't do workouts. I don't do menu planning. I don't do any work stuff. Maybe you put skincare routine or it's your, um, your tracking for health whether it's your blood pressure, your moods, stuff like that, moods, but some kind of track here. Tracking goes here. All right, so then we have this page, right? So we've got our top priority, we've got our appointments in here, we've put our whatever we're tracking here, we're good, right? So what do we put in here? What I put in here, again, I think about this long list or my major list, and I generally put in a different box rather than errands because I don't like errands, but it could be your grocery list. It could be your to do's. It could be, it could be your errands. It could be your chores. It could be all kinds of things. Then you have these two. Now I find that I only need one other, one other box and that does me perfectly well. If you're the kind of person that is like, I don't have a get it done and I don't have a noted, again, what you gotta do is wipe those out and then you can put whatever you want in here. Let's say this is work, I don't know. Work stuff goes down here and then you could have house stuff. It could be to buy. It could be anything that you choose to have in a list format. It could just be stuff that's to do that month that if you get chance, you can do it that day. So that's what I will say. Now you can use this bit as scratch notes and that is how you use it. It could be notes, it could be deco, it could be you put more boxes in here. Maybe you have a box heavy week and you put kids stuff in there. But use it However, you want to use it, but it's very, very functional. It's, in my opinion, it's more functional than the vertical, simply because I can have my to-do list here and I can take things from here and then put them on the days. So if I'm like, okay, I'm planning the week before, 
I come to this week and I'm like, okay, I know I have these things that I've transferred over. It's Tuesday. So I'm going to put in the chores from here and I'm going to put them on here. I hope that makes sense. So that is basically an overall functionality of how you can use it. Now, if you're the kind of planner like me that is also wanting to make it decorative and fun, then that's where, that's where the fun stuff comes in. I've got three colors. I've got black, pink, and this, I think it's brown. Yeah, it's kind of the same color as this, perfect. So I've got three colors, and then we've got white, clearly, because white is on the spread, and a little bit of gray. I might get the gray. Let's get a gray as well. So I've got four colors. So how do I make this functional, but also fun and decorative? Now I'm gonna do it with just pen, but you can use stickers, you can use whatever the heck you like. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in, and now I am doubting my pen colors, and I'm gonna get a bright orange to match that, because I am that extra. And we'll get the yellow. Changed our minds, but we're good. I'm taking colors from here, and we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this. Okay, so I've just picked the same colors that are in this. I'm gonna put this, again, this is what I did in 2022. I just use these and just shoved them in my planner because that made sense to me. And that was my to-do list. I just came in and put little checklists in. Obviously I used a stencil, didn't just freehand it, though I think I did before I uh, used my stencils. And then I have to do. I'm going to put some washi in this bit because that's how I like to roll. I'm gonna put some coordinating washi in this bit. And just to give you an idea. And then this is my, this is my planner, right? So let's do here. I have video one, video two, usually image, video three, video four, image, image. And that is how I use it, but it could be lunch and then you have dinner here. So that, you use it however you want to use it. The next thing is I put in boxes. So I'm going to put in, again, usually for me, I have a box here. We're going to put chores. And then I'm going to put a box here. I'm just thinking of this week because I have an appointment. Or a massage and let's say that's all I have let's say that's all I have and then here I want a list of things to buy for Christmas okay so I'm gonna put in another piece of that washi I think that's Stella wanting to come in even though we have a dog door she is a bugger at not using it so then I have a list here And I put in, I'm going to do it with the thicker pen, but I would use a black box like that to buy. And that is my to buy list. So how do I make this now fun and functional? So again, the first thing that I'm going to do is think about the colors. I'm going to draw the colors from here. I'm going to do my top priority. I'm going to do top three. We'll do top three because I know some people like top three. You could use boxes. Okay, so that's my top three. So what is what is aesthetically pleasing to this? Not a lot. And here's why. Because I've got two boxes here, one big box here. And although I'm pulling the colors from here, and this does create a little visual triangle, this needs something somewhere else. There needs to be another one of these. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little one in here. I want you to see the difference. You see how that looks totally different now? That's balanced these boxes by just putting one here. And even if you don't use this, you just put it in there and it just looks nice. And you can just put a little self-care thing in or something. You do you. 
Right, so the other thing that we've got that's not aesthetically pleasing about this is we have two pieces of washi. Two looks odd, because you've got two horizontal lines. We need another one. My go-to, my go-to that I tend to do every time is I just put it down here. So just notice how that's totally changed the look of this spread. And I'm saying that kind of funnily because there's not a lot going on. So that looks totally different now. I'm gonna put in some text. All right, so that is the functional stuff out of the way. So now, how do we make it look a bit more interesting than this? And that's where the, the, the next bit comes in. So I put the little dots in this yellow pen, which is similar to the yellow from here. So I'm gonna imagine, I'm gonna imagine that we're decorating with flowers, okay? Because a lot of you like to decorate with flowers. You're going to put a big flower here, okay, big flower here, I'm going to put a grey, grey middle in, there we go, grey middle in. So then we look at it and we're like, okay, where else do we need another flower, we need one here. They're very janky flowers, but well, you get the idea. Get one here, and then again, if you look at this, that's two. It looks weird, but now you've got options because you can put them in a few places. All right, so the obvious one is that you could come in and you could put something up here. Because then that makes the visual triangle of these be a bit more fluid, right? So that's one option. The other one that you could do is you could come in here to the side. You could come in up here to the top that I can't really do, but over here somewhere, but over the join. That's another one that you could do. The other place that you could come in, which a lot of people don't do, is coming there. I like that one because I just think it frees up some of that space and makes it a, lo a little less open space. If you're not using that, put something there. So those are the options and you get to choose which one works for you. And if I had another box there, I could put that there instead. But yeah, you get to choose where you wanna put it. And again, people think that the dashboard is not very versatile for decorating. I love the dashboard for, for decorating, it's just so fun. That is what I will say, if you're decorating, make it, again, if you're using flowers and stuff, make it the threes, make it threes. So that, I'm gonna take that off the page, it's not on the page. So make it threes, again, I like this, so I'm gonna put that one in. But that is how I like to have mine, and you will see me do that quite a lot, put something there. I just think it fills up the space. And then, if I want to, the reason that I don't tend to put it here is because if, I don't know, I've decorated this on Saturday for the week ahead and then Monday morning comes around and I have an appointment that I have to make. What do I do then? That's the way that my brain kind of thinks. I don't generally do that because then if Monday morning comes around and I have a new priority, I won't do it in these colors. I'll pick a new color. Now I'm picking a new color. And we have something urgent came up and that has to go in there. And I'm picking that color purely because it ties in with this and it doesn't look so odd. Again, and it doesn't look so odd, but it is odd. I hope that makes sense because it, there's only one of it. Only one of it is better than there being two, in my opinion. It's better than there being two. Because if you're doing two, it needs to be symmetry. It needs to be symmetry. And when you have this, this is not symmetry. When you have this, this is not symmetry. But when you have this, this is the triangle of happiness, the triangle of happiness. So yeah, and again, one big thing. So the other thing I want to mention is, let's say you wanna put a quote in and I'm gonna put it either here or here. Again, if you're doing something and you want to make it balanced, you want the quote in the airy bit. Because this is the airy bit and this is the heavy bit, typically. And you've freed up space if you need to, if you need to put another box in. And you could even put another, like a decorative box or something. And we just put a decorative box in. I hope that makes sense. But that's just how you work on balancing the dashboard layout. Because it's easy to just think, Oh, 
I've got my to-dos, I've got the boxes in, what else? If you want it to look pretty before you fill it out, that's how you do it. So to create the illusion of a normal new dashboard planner, I have whited out this bit. I've whited that out and to kind of white out this bit, I've just put a to-do list there. So we're going to keep the to-do list because I like the to-do list, as we said, and then the rest of it, I'm going to change. So again, the first thing that I do, because that's just me, I come in and I put some washi here or something, some kind of header here. And what I'm going to do is something a little bit different is I'm going to put some washi here. And then I'm going to put my box, I'm going to put a double box in here. And that's going to have a quote on it. Quote box. Um, I have an appointment on Monday, something a little different. Let's do Monday. I have one on Thursday and I have my usual cleaning on this day. I've got my priority for the day. So that is the stuff that we're we're starting with. And then we're going to get, ooh, let's do this one. I like this. This is like a fleshy color and then a green. So then I'm going to add in my stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is here, I'm going to add in a box and this will be a decorative box. Okay. And then I'm going to take a similar box from here and put it underneath here. Now you'll have seen me do this before, but what I tend to do is if I'm layering a box like this, I will literally cut out that corner and then I will put it somewhere else. That is just how my brain works. I will take that black bit of washi and I'm going to put that somewhere else as well. Now, other people would put it here, like, and stuff like that. I don't like that. Or they would put it here. Like, I don't like that either because that's just too, it's too linear. I'm going to put it here and we're going to put a box in here. So I'm going to put a box in in green. Do I need a box there? No. Now, it looks a bit more even. Yes. Do we agree? Do we agree? I think we agree. And then I'm going to put in... I'm going to put in another quote box here. This will be a vertical quote box. It could be a decorative box. It could be anything. Vertical quote box there. And then if you look at this now, the horizontal line is balanced. This box is not balanced. So what I can do is come up here, white out the top line, and then I'm going to put a box in that matches this. And then I'm going to put one in here. And again, it could be a box, it could be a header, it could be just something interesting to add some interest of that color. But now the green is balanced. Now this isn't balanced, this peachy color. So where can I put the peachy color? I want you to let me know in the comments down below. Where would you put it? Where would you put it? I could put it here. I could put it here and have another header strip to do strip here. I could put it down here somewhere. I could put it in here. I could put it in here. There are lots of places I could put this. I could also put it in here. We could put another box there behind that, or that could have been a pink box, but I like mine to be kind of, kind of quite far away from each other, but you do you. And even that is very functional, but also decorative. So then if I came back in with, I'm going to do it in black just because I think black is a good color. Let's say I'm doing, again, I'm just going to do flowers. It's just easier to draw some kind of flower, some kind of decoration, some kind of decoration behind there. I'm actually probably going to do it here. We're going to do it there and a little bit there. You could even do a little bit there. You could do a little bit, I want to say there. And then here, I would probably do it there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, without that bit, it would look odd. So then you've still got your functional things that you need, but then you've made it decorative. 
if you're using your boxes and you have just one box, two box, and then you're like, okay, well, I don't, I don't have another one. You look at it and you're like, it just looks weird. I've only got two boxes. Put another one in, even if it's just a little header box somewhere. Even if it's just a little, one of the little skinny ones, put one of the skinny ones in somewhere. And the other thing that I will say is don't put all the same size in. Don't put all the same size in. Mix up your sizes. Again, it just looks better when things are less symmetrical. Less symmetrical because it's an asymmetrical layout. So make it less symmetrical. All right, I hope that helped give you some insights into how your brain can think about using the dashboard layout functionally and then decoratively. Get the functional things in first and then put the decorative stuff in. You know, you have to think about things on the go as you're doing it, but yeah, think about your function first and then add your decor. And the one thing that I will say again, don't think about twos, don't go even numbers, go odd. Go odd. Be like me, embrace your oddness. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and ring the notification bell. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.